So, you want to see something crappy? See this little bike bell here on the bike? Um, it's like a little ladybug. Um, it does just the typical ring ring. And there are two antennae on the front where if you squeeze them, it opens the wings. And one of the wings is broken. And I'm pretty sure that I did that. So I just went on Amazon.ca and ordered one. And noticed that because it's coming from Hong Kong, it's going to take about a month. <laughs> and I don't think there's any way that Camille's not going to notice the broken bell between now and a month from now. So wish me luck, okay? <laughs> Just picked up the squirtling from summer camp. Love day camp. She's not in the best of moods, but you know, she's four. He's eating a tiny nut. So a few weeks ago, on the Saturday morning, uh, we were doing party prep here at, at the Corbet household um, because Camille's birthday is on the 1st of August. She's going to be five. It's very exciting. Um, but the problem with 1st of August is none of her school friends are here, right? They're all off in vacation line. So the last week of school on the Saturday, we had a little party for her school friends. Um, so in the morning, while my wife was cleaning floors and kitchen and stuff she sent me out to do a whole bunch of errands and to keep Camille out from under her legs I took the squirreling with me so we go we get into the car and Camille likes to do this thing where she opens the door she gets in she closes the door she sits in her little booster and clicks the, uh, the seat belt at which point I always get back out of the car go around open the door and make sure that everything's you know good and solid because you know right Camille hates it when I do that but she knows it's coming. But this day, okay, so I get in, she gets in, I'm about to turn the car on and do my usual, and I just hear, Daddy, Daddy, open the door, open the door now. My thumb is caught. Now, when I was her age, four or five, uh, and we were still living in Winnipeg, I was playing with a bunch of friends at um, a potluck that my folks were hosting. Uh, the Unitarian Church of Winnipeg, or in Winnipeg, I don't know what the actual name is at this point. We're talking a long time ago now. Um, had this program that, that they called the Extended Families, okay? Uh, there were a lot of people who had moved to Winnipeg and didn't have actual family around, so these extended families would get together for, for, for big holidays and be like a surrogate family, right? Have a potluck for Christmas, have something for, um, you know, Thanksgiving. We're playing around with my dad's car, and the adults are saying, you know, don't play in that car, you're going to get hurt. But, of course, we're kids, so we're not listening, right? And one of my friends slams my dad's car door on my finger. Now, he, big difference here. Um, Camille had closed her thumb in the hinge side where there's that big rubber gasket. My finger got, got caught in like the swing side. No rubber gasket, 1970s car, so the, the door was heavy. No rubber, no nothing. Boom, my finger goes up, straight up, and it's cut like all the way so I start to howl. The, the adults come running. My dad scoops me up. I'm shrieking in his ear. Uh, he takes a look. That's not good. My mom's like, that's not good. So my dad takes me to the hospital. I mean, all these people are at our house. What's my mom going to do? So my dad takes me to the hospital. They sort of, you know, it, it wasn't off, but it did need to be 
closed somehow. And he, you know, put it back the way it's supposed to be and said, um, said it wasn't broken, it was just sprained. Okay. So I had um, like a, not a cast, but like a splint or something that I had to keep on for a long freaking time. Which for a four or five year old who likes to play, nightmare, right? <laughs> but this was going through my head when I heard I got my thumb caught in the door. Um, so I do this thing. Whenever Camille cut, hurts herself, I play the calm parent. I don't run over, I walk over. If she's just falling on her knee, I make her stand up. Then I give her a big hug, put her on my knee. You know, we cry together. Well, <laughs> we used to cry together. And now that I'm, you know, now that her hurting herself isn't so new, she cries. I like, you know, um, and I never say, uh, you're, you're okay, you're okay. I always say, are you okay? I ask her and let her decide if she's okay or not because I had read somewhere and I really believe that if you're telling a child that she's okay but she doesn't feel that she's okay you're, you're just creating a little worm of self-doubt that you are then in danger of building on as, as she grows through her through her childhood so I never say you're okay I always ask so I come around the car door with alacrity pull it open so she sits back on her seat and and she's looking at her thumb, and it's red, man. Clearly, this kid's in pain. Her face is red, and like I could see, she she wants to cry, man. She just wants to let loose, you know. And she's got this real tension in her eyes, and like tension in her neck. She's like, oh, because this is, oh, you know. And I said, Camille, it's okay to cry. And she she she, she, has, she can't even talk, but she's like. So I say, do you want me to go and get you some ice? And she just sort of, she can just nod, right? But she's in a world of, of, of hurt. So it's like, I, it's like I'm talking to her through a cloud or something. So I, I go inside. My wife is, I think, doing something in the kitchen. And <laughs> what's going on, <laughs> right? So I say, she slammed her, her thumb in the car door. So of course, <laughs> so of course my wife goes, Pew! she goes out to see how things are going. I get an ice pack, I wrap it in a towel, I come out. You know, I, I give it to Camille, she puts it on. We do a group hug. She still doesn't cry, man. She she never cried about this, but she was like, oh man, she was she was hurting bad. Um, so, you know, we, we've all breathed. I get into the, you know, I click her in. She lets me do the clicking this, this one time. And then I get in and I drive to the store. Um, and by the time we get to the store, she's playing in, in the back seat. I, I don't mean she's playing in the backseat, but like she's got little toys and stuff next to where she sits. So she's playing with them and talking to a little stuffy or something. We get out of the car, you know, we're going on our stuff. She says, Daddy, my thumb really hurts. And like over the course of the day, well, the early part of the day, the morning, you know, she, this thumb was in pain. It wasn't stopping her from doing stuff, but like every now and again, she just like looked at it. I just think, <clears throat> thanking the universe that she closed herself in a modern car with rubber gaskets everywhere and on the hinge side. I just, I had this thing in my head when I was coming around that door and I was like, please universe, don't do this to her. I've since found out that slamming your finger in the car door is something that many people do as children. So it's perfectly normal. <laughs> Jeez.